In this video, I'll be redesigning one of the world's most beloved breakfast cereals, Cap'n Crunch. The design is iconic and it works perfectly for its target market, children. But for everyone over 18, I'd say the brand isn't on the top of the shopping list. So what would Cap'n Crunch look like if it was designed for the modern, health-conscious adult instead of sugar-crazed rugrats? Well, let's find out. But before we dive in too deep, let's take a quick look back at the history of this groundbreaking breakfast treat. Cap'n Crunch cereal was first brought into the world in 1963 by the Quaker Oats Company. It was the cereal that had corn for crunch, oats for punch, and it stayed crunchy even in milk. The face of the product was none other than Cap'n Crunch himself, otherwise known as Horatio Magellan Crunch. The Cap'n was said to be born off the coast of Ohio on a magical island in a sea of milk. The island was home to strange creatures, talking trees, Hello? and most impressively, a mountain made entirely of cereal. These days, the captain sails across the seas in his trusty vessel, the SS Guppy, spreading his delicious breakfast food to all the people of the world. And in the spirit of that mission, it's time to build a world where this crunch pack creation can be enjoyed by the rest of us. It's time to redesign Captain Crunch for adults. The rules are simple. Our new design needs to be appealing to the adult market, it needs to include all the main elements of the original design in some form or another, and that would include the logo, a captain mascot, and an image of the cereal. And finally, it needs to fit all the legal requirements for a real cereal product that you could find in the store. And with those things in mind, we set sail on our journey and arrive at our first task, choosing a box. To do this, we'll need to take a look at the cereal spectrum. All cereal that exists falls somewhere on this line. On the far left, we have all the kids' cereal, 90% sugar, 10% air. In the middle, you have the basic cardboard flavored stuff. And on the right end, you'll find all the healthy, nutritious cereal, the ones that contain actual food. The farther right you move down the spectrum, the smaller the boxes get, but the higher the prices go. Turns out you pay a premium for real berries instead of balls of food coloring. I think our new Captain Crunch should fall somewhere around here on the spectrum. Nothing too pretentious, but a good option for those looking for a quick, healthy breakfast who are willing to pay a bit of a premium for it. So to fit in with similar brands, our box will be a little smaller and hold roughly 70% of the amount the original would. But the ingredients will be better, so the price goes up. Along with our newly chosen vessel, let's take a look at the graphic style we're gonna use. Most cereals targeted at kids have a very similar look. Bright, bold colors, a character or mascot, and an image that makes the cereal feel exciting. Obviously all things that appeal to children. Adult Focus Cereal also has a clear set of patterns. Natural, toned down color palettes, more simplistic graphics with very little focus on characters, and a lot of attention is put on the ingredients and health benefits of the cereal. All things that appeal to that adult audience. Our design will draw from the natural, rugged feeling of modern, healthy products while still having a clear nautical theme for brand recognition. And it's at this point we reach our first major destination, logo design. Looking at the original Captain Crunch logo, I like its overall structure and the vintage style of its lettering, but we'll probably want to go with something more flat, with a toned down color scheme. So let's start by distilling this down into a basic text structure and replacing Cap'n with Captain, so it feels slightly more mature. After spending way too much time looking for fonts online, I found something that has these old school vintage arches and a lot of cool texture and character, but I want to make sure Captain stands out a bit more from Crunch. And one way to do that is to place it on a vintage badge. Badges and flags are used all the time in nautical designs as a way to emphasize certain elements. And now to ensure these two parts still feel connected, I'll reshape the crunch letters to better form around the badge. As you'll recall, on the original Captain Crunch box, the logo and mascot were two separate entities, but I'd like to tie them together in this new version. And this tiny dip in the badge seems like the perfect place to stick the captain. Of course, instead of a cartoon version, we'll want to go with something more realistic. And some visual reference, like this fine seafaring gentleman at the helm of the ship, will help us do just that. To match the illustrated style of the rest of the logo, I'm going to create a two-tone silhouette version of the character. So if I just place an imaginary light to the right of our subject, I can determine which areas that light will actually hit. By coloring those in and adding a few extra lines for detail, you end up with an image that uses only a single color while letting the background act as a secondary shadow color. You'll probably notice though that I did change his hat to something that more closely resembles the original design, and I gave him an eye patch, just cause it looks cool. And with our newly created logo in hand, we move forward to our next adventure, laying out the design. First off, our box needs some color. Some options are too playful, and some don't work very well with the illustration. But this dark neutral color feels natural and sophisticated to me, especially with a beige logo. Now as for showing off an image of the cereal, there are two common options. Showcasing the cereal in a nicely staged bowl, or showing it without any container whatsoever. 
I personally like this method more because it puts all the focus on the actual product. And with that, people also generally like to know what that product is made from. According to the original box, Captain Crunch is a corn and oat cereal, which I think would look nice in big bold letters up here at the top. And to help supplement that, it's also a good idea to give customers some helpful nutrition information like the amount of protein, fiber, and sugar in each serving. And just for good measure, this cereal is also going to be non-GMO and gluten-free, since that's all the rage these days. And now for some legal housekeeping. Every cereal box has to have the weight of the product in ounces and grams, and we need to tell people explicitly that this is cereal, just to avoid any confusion. Also, most companies will include enlarged to show detail by the cereal, so no one thinks the image shows a one-to-one -one representation of the product in the box. And with that done, our journey begins winding down as we arrive at our final destination, where we'll add a few little extra things to push our design that extra mile. First off, I'd like to fill in this empty space with some type of nautical imagery to act as an accent. Something simple like a rope and anchor would work perfectly. And making that orange not only helps match the cereal, but you can also see how it frames the logo and directs your eyes towards it. Our cereal does look a bit flat right now, but that can be fixed with a little lighting to make it look like it's laying on a surface. And to even better sell that effect, let's add in something the cereal could be laying on. The last thing this needs is a little wear and tear. Our captain is no longer a happy-go-lucky guy with no cares in the world. Now, he's a grizzled old sailor hardened by the merciless sea. So I think a few scrapes and scratches are warranted, and they add some extra character and authenticity to the brand. After a few finishing touches, for presentation's sake, here is Captain Crunch for adults. We're a far cry from the original kid-focused brand we started with, and I believe we've even stayed within all the rules. So if you want to join me on more fun design adventures, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on. And if you found this video helpful or entertaining, then show some love and hit that like button down there too. If you have any suggestions for another redesigned video, then let me know down in the comments. And you can check out some other cool design videos right here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.